In this exercise, we're going to calculate quantities between our existing ground surface and our road datum surface. On the Analyze tab of the ribbon, we're going to select the Volumes Dashboard command to bring up the Volumes Dashboard. This is where we can create a volume surface. So I'm going to create a 10 volume surface to begin with. Uh, the difference between 10 volume surfaces and grid volume surfaces are that a 10 volume surface calculates a volume everywhere a triangle vertex meets on either surface. Grid only samples the volume at a specified grid interval. Uh, so I found that 10 volume surfaces tend to be a little more accurate. I'm going to set my surface name to Road Volumes and change the style to No Display because most of the time I don't need to display my, uh, my volume surface. My base surface is going to be the ground surface and the comparison surface is of course going to be the road datum surface. You have the option to enter a cut or a fill factor. I'm going to enter a fill factor here of 1.2, and that is going to uh, that is going to take into account a 20% compaction there. So as you can see, we now have our surface created, our volume surface, and we have a uh, net adjusted fill. And it's a pretty high number, and I'd like to get that as close to zero as I possibly can. So I'm going to do that by going to my profile and just using grip edits to raise and lower the profile, which is going to cause the surface to need to be rebuilt. Now you'll see that the icon comes up there. I'm going to kind of speed through this and rebuild it. As soon as I do that, I'm going to rebuild our volume surface because that's now out of date. And now I'm going to go back and take a look at my volumes and see that uh, now I've got a little too much cut on this particular uh, roadway. So I'm going to perform uh, the same edits that I just did with the profile with a couple more iterations. I'll raise it up a little bit and basically work through this until I get to a number that's acceptable to me. So let's raise this up a little bit to get it out of as much cut. Go through the rebuild process. Take a look. And now I have it within, within 500 cubic yards. So I'm okay with that. Again, that's our adjusted cut. Keep in mind that that's going to be different from your raw cut. Uh, if you want to leave it just raw, then you would leave your cut and fill factor set at 1. Now let's take a look at a way that we can visualize our volumes, uh, the amount of cut and fill at any given spot on the surface. I'm going to go to the Road Volumes surface and go to those properties, and I'm going to run an analysis. If you take a look at the statistics of this surface, our minimum elevation is negative 7.33, and our max is 6.42. Now those aren't your typical surface elevations that you would display with contours, but you can display them with, ele with elevations. On the Analysis tab, I'm going to change the number of ranges for my elevations analysis to 4. And then I'm going to select the button that allows me to run the analysis. So what I'm going to end up with is 4 ranges, and uh, Civil 3D creates these ranges uh, based on criteria that's set up in the surface style. Uh, but I'm going to change the schemes. So what I want to do is show everything under a four foot that's, well, excuse me, everything that's deeper than a four foot cut. I want to show that as one color. Then from negative four to zero, I want to show that as a shallower cut. And I'm actually going to set that to uh, a negative 0 0.05. I'm going to throw in an assumption there that anything between negative 0.05 and positive 0.05 is going to be natural ground, so it'll display a little bit better. For my fill, I'm going to do the same thing, change it from 0 to 4, and then from 4.01 all the way up to the max, which is 6.42. I'll go in and quickly change the colors for this and apply that analysis. And now I want to set it to a surface style that displays my elevations. 
Now there's a couple there. Uh, we have an elevation banding 2D style that I'll take a look there at the how the style is set up and not on the contours tab we need to go over to display and if I look there I see that the only thing that's turned on are the elevations so I'm gonna go ahead and that's all I want to see on this I'll go ahead and select OK and then OK again and my surface will display now and you can see the darker red which is going to be our deeper cuts and then of course the green is going to be the fill areas uh, so we've got quite a bit of cut uh, and some some deeper than four foot cut of course over here on this long tangent to the north let's go back to our volumes dashboard and we're going to look at earlier we discussed uh, the, the difference between a 10 volume surface and a grid volume surface. I want to show that difference. I'm going to go ahead and create a grid volume surface. I'll name it grid there. And uh, my style, I'm going to no display it. I'll go ahead and just leave my grid spacing to 25 and 25. Um, of course, the, the tighter you get this, the lower those values are, the more accurate it'll be, but also the larger the surface it will be uh, you'll end up with so I'm gonna set everything the same my cut and fill factor and go ahead and put in that fill factor of 1.2 hit OK and now when this surface is created you can see the difference in our cut and fill and our adjusted cut seems to be almost double the adjusted cut of the uh, of the 10 volume surface so that's the accuracy differences.